Hello everybody, welcome to Capture One Compares, where we compare one feature of Capture One versus one feature of Adobe Lightroom. And normally I look at the same feature, right? The same uh, thing that you do in each software, um, but I take a look at how they might behave differently or if they don't behave differently, which is interesting in and of itself. But today, uh, that's not what I want to do. Today I want to look at an importing option that just isn't in Capture One. And Capture One has, has only periodically ever mentioned this, but they've said they don't really see necessarily the value in it. Um, but I do, and I'd, I'd like to comment on that, that I think that it's nice. And if you use Capture One and you don't have it, let's take a look at how you might have a workaround. All right, so what are we talking about? Here we have Capture One, but I, I want to start here. This is Adobe Lightroom, of course, and we're going to come to Import Options, and this is the Import Dialog Box, and we take a look we'll take a look at the top, and we have your importing options, right? So importing is just, of course, indexing or linking to particular files, right? But we could also do something with those files at the moment of importing into the catalog. We're going to see here, of course, that we have copy as DNG, the digital negative, uh, Adobe's raw file, and we're going to kind of ignore that. I, I think talking about the digital negative um, as its own feature, as its own thing, is kind of a subject for another video and an interesting video at that. Copying, of course, is where you take an image, you copy it, and you place the copy in a location. And this is what we typically do from memory cards, right? We're going to have an image on a memory card, we copy it, we put the copy somewhere on our hard, somewhere on our hard disk, and we're good to go. Then we have move and add. Let's take a look at add first. Add is simply the image exists on your machine, right, or an external hard drive, and it exists in a location that you like. You've already put it somewhere, and that's a good place. You don't want to mess with it. You want that image to simply be linked to inside of uh, inside of uh, Adobe Lightroom, right? And this is a pretty great thing, right? So I might have, for instance, uh, coming in here to my pictures folder, I have some example images I use when I'm teaching classes. And this is a tiny little thing um, that I have. This got several example images, but this exists on a place on my hard drive that I like. And I don't want to move them. I don't want to change them. I certainly don't want to duplicate them because then I have duplicative files. Um, but they're here and that's great. Capture One does this no problem. What Capture One does not have is the move option. Move is a slight variation of add. Add says that the images already are on the machine and those images are in a location we like. We just want Lightroom to, or Capture One, to index to them. What is move? Well, move says the images are already on the machine. However, we'd like to move them, all right? We want them to pick up from one location and put them somewhere else, all right? Um, that's great. However, um, Capture One doesn't see the value in that. If I come over to Capture One, right, and I go to importing, take a look at what we have here. I have the ability to uh, do a couple things, right? I can copy into catalog. Now, the ca so saying copy into catalog means that there is a folder of images that is connected with the actual catalog file. And if you work with a Mac, it is inside of a specific what's called package folder. Uh, if you work with a PC, then it's going to just be a folder that's that's next to it, right? But this is a specific location, okay? Add to catalog is simply the adding option, right? It's saying the image is in a location that we like, and we're just going to index to it. Now, if you don't want the image to be copied into the catalog, you want it in a different place. And this is particularly popular if you have your catalog on one hard drive, but you keep your images on another, we can copy to a folder, right? So copy the image to a location. But we cannot add an image already on the machine and move simultaneously. We can't do that. If I want to, I have to do that in two steps. I have to add it and then move it in the folders option once the image is imported. Right? And so we might look at it and say, well, what value is that? Here's the value. If I am getting into this software, let's say that I've had a mess and I am now getting into an organizational software like Adobe Lightroom or Capture One, um, I want to clean up where my images are or perhaps I want to 
you know, organize these things and put them onto a new external hard drive that I have. Maybe I have images in disparate places all over a hard disk. You'd be amazed how often that happens uh, with people that I'm teaching and instructing. It, uh, and they want to pick up images, have them indexed inside of their primary software, but they also want to put them into a singular location. In Adobe Lightroom, that is one job. It is the move option. And I use it with clients a lot, uh, but I can't do it here inside of Capture One. Now, how would we do it inside of Capture One? I'm glad you asked. Here's what we would do. We would come to our library tool and we would take a look at the three options, catalog collections, user collections, and folders. Folders in Capture One works exactly the same way as folders in Adobe Lightroom. And this is the physical location of all of the images and I can pick up an image that is inside of one location and pick it up and drag it into somewhere else. And it's just inside of the folders tool here. I can pick up and move stuff and it will move it between hard drives. And this is the way that we can organize imagery uh, once that's already imported. And in this way, you have full control over where images are. I made a whole video about relinking files and moving stuff uh, inside of Capture One previously. Now, of course, if I am inside of Adobe Lightroom, we have the exact same control. I have here, I'm in the library module. We have the folders tool here on the left panel. And now I have all of the locations of all of my images and I'm able to find pictures, pick them up and move them to wherever I want them to be physically on my machines. So in other words, it's not that there is a difference in the way a job is done. There is a full import option available in Adobe Lightroom that just doesn't exist in Capture One. And the question is, does that matter? I would argue that it does uh, because when people are finally taking control of their imagery, they're taking control of their organization and putting stuff into a place that makes sense. Being able to import and move simultaneously has value. Now, once you have that system in place, you probably won't need the move option ever again. And so once you are established in your habits, move is not valid. And I think that that is Capture One's point, right? That realistically, once I have a system for taking in images, bring them in to my particular system, I'll never need to do a move import option, right? But that's ignoring the new customer and the new customer's experience. Anyway, that is the move option at importing. And honestly, I wish Capture One would, would imitate it. It is, a, it is a difference in feature set between the two softwares. And it's a difference that I think definitively, uh, in this case, I can say uh, just Adobe Lightroom has the better feature set on this particular case. So anyway, that is our comparison for today. I hope this is interesting or useful for you as you take a look at how to organize your images and how to work with them and deciding what software features are important for you. Uh, I'd like to also make a note uh, that I've got a, uh, a new aspect of the business, uh, mylightroomisamess.com. That is uh, a new website that I run where I help people organize their images uh, inside of either Adobe Lightroom or Capture One. I'll put a link uh, in the description, but of course it's just the website there. Uh, and if I can be of service, I hope that you get in touch. But until then, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.